Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue video editor not being available in the Microsoft Photos app. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Microsoft Store. Best result should come back with Microsoft Store. Go ahead and open that up. In the search field up at the top, you want to go search up Microsoft Photos and just search for it. You want to go ahead and select one of the best apps on the list here. Should say Microsoft Photos. Should be made by the Microsoft Corporation. Go ahead and select Get. So I'm going to select No Thanks. You can sign in with Microsoft account if you want. You don't have to though. And then once that is done, it appears that it's already installed. That's why there's an error here. Otherwise, you can always uninstall or reset it, which I will show you guys how to do that too. So open up the Start menu. Type in Apps and Features. Best result. Should come back with Apps and Features. Go ahead and open that up. And then you want to search this list. Type in Photos. Before you do anything, please make sure you have a backup of your photos, so save it to some external hard drive, flash drive, somewhere on your desktop even, because whenever you reset stuff, there's always a chance that you're going to end up losing sensitive files, such as photos, documents, videos, like I said. So just please make sure you have a backup of anything that's important before we do anything else further. So anyway, we're going to select Advanced Options here, scroll down, and where it says Reset, if this app isn't working right, reset it, the app's data will be deleted. Go ahead and select the reset button. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign in details. Select reset to confirm this. And once you have a check mark, I'd recommend closing out of here and restart your computer. And hopefully once your computer is restarted, if you attempt to launch the Photos app and then the Video Editor application, hopefully your problem should have been resolved at this point. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.